Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dolbeck. Today we are going to speak about the best mage weapon in New World Aeternum. I'm gonna do a list. Start with the worst and finish with the best, I guess. Get ready because at the end of this video, there's gonna be a mage debate about war and how it happened. And I, I will not show name, so nobody gonna know who speaking when. But you're gonna hear w what are like the main topic and how like mage are debating with each other. Some people think that you need to stats pad a lot, like do big AOE DPS. While some people think that you need to like go attack the back line more. So there's a big debate debate between that and the number of mage that you're gonna add in war. So I'm going to tell you in war, OPR, open world and Zuel uh, in which situation they are the best and uh, why. So you're going to know when to use it and where to apply it. All right. You guys probably already know too. I don't think I'm better than, uh, than you. I just have like 8,000 hours play this game. So yeah. So let's get straight into it. The Void Gauntlet. The Void Gauntlet is by far the the worst mage weapon in the game uh it's okay if you go into mutation uh and it's okay if you use it in pvp with like a rapier i've seen some people do good with rapier void gauntlet in pvp rapier ice gauntlet all right but the the void gauntlet itself it, it's work with igvg too in war and uh other than that there's uh in pv you can use it as a healer in pv or um uh, rapier void gauntlet in pv too i've seen some people do void gauntlet and bow in pv into um corrupted uh, mut mutation into corrupted they are weak to bow so it was possible we did leaderboard run like this top one leaderboard you can go see the video in tempest so yeah uh, when someone in your group used VG and bow, I, I was healing during this round, I was able to use the flail, so I, we had another set of ability and it was working perfectly into Tempest. Okay, so Void Gauntlet, Fire Staff, like, let, let's speak about the Fire Staff. Fire Staff is like the main weapon for the mage. There's like the two main type of mage in the game. There's the Fire Staff, and there's the Ice Gauntlet, Void Gauntlet. Fire Staff people are going to use different uh, off end, but their, their main off end is going to be Ice Gauntlet. It's not going to be the Void Gauntlet. Sometimes you're going to see someone with a Void Gauntlet that is able to use it good and do some good play with it, but it, it's not the best meta in the game, all right? In PV, it's, it's usable. I made a video about this, uh, but they nerfing it to the ground. Okay. So, uh, the second, there's a great axe artifact that you can use with the fire staff. So I put it at the end, like one of the two worst weapons, just because you have to use mana to make your great axe powerful. If you have some mana on, your great axe is not like hitting hard. And I don't know, th this build is good. It's usable, but it's just like a little something that make it like powerful all right you can use it do some great play with it it's possible but uh, itself it, it's like it, it's situational you're more gonna become a uh, assassin's player like you, you you're gonna have to like deep dive deep in the back line to kill someone with the ice gauntlet you can just go put the storm away from you you protect yourself with the ice wall people come close and that's it but with the the Great Axe is more like an aggressive gameplay and you need to keep a way out for charging out. And uh, some people play with the grab well, some don't. And it's like a build that is like really off meta, but you, there's some play to do with that. Maybe it's going to be meta one day. But right now, it's like sometimes you're going to see one here and here in war, but it's only good player that have already proven themselves that they are good with almost any weapon. So they, they let them use the Great Axe because... You know, they are there almost, uh, they are doing void review for people. They're not going to kick them because they are using a bad weapon, all right? But 
the main leader would like them to use a ice gauntlet probably just just saying so yeah then we're gonna speak about the blunderbuss the blunderbuss is not the first on the list it's not the best only because of war um into the war there's the cleanse potion and on the blunderbuss there's the artifact blunderbuss that put plague on people plague reduce the number of health taken by health by healing so uh in open world opr uh, small scale pvp the blunderbuss is gonna become really good because it's gonna reduce the healing of the enemy group but in war they, are, they have so many clans they have the cleanse potion and the eater have a cleanse too it just like kept cleansing non-stop so it just make no sense to use the blunderbuss in war but it's sad because blunderbuss is a really nice weapon and it's fun but uh, only because of the cleanse it loses it lose a lot of uh, purpose into it so now i'm gonna speak about the rapier i put the rapier just one bit on the top of the blunderbuss just because it the rapier is that weapon that can make make any mage hard to kill like uh, you want to to reach someone and is running away with a rapier there's just like almost nothing to do about it uh, some team are overusing it in war some don't sometimes you're gonna see one here and here but the place where the fire staff rapier is really like extremely good is in open world pvp nobody gonna be able to catch you almost like it's it just you have burnout you have fleshy evade like it's just crazy and now with the if they change the stamina like they did during the new world air turn on beta what's gonna happen is when your stamina is regenerating if you get stagger uh your stamina like it, it's like if you ran out of stamina it, it's coming back so what's gonna happen is people are gonna use the flourish and finish with the rapier and they're just gonna make you use probably a dodge with their fire staff they're gonna try to combo you and then when you use a dodge then pop flourish and finish and you're stuck there during your moment they're just gonna have to evade the backward and then blow you with their fire staff it's gonna be over so i think that the fire staff rapier may be gonna gain some strength with the, the next update because those stagger it's it's a game changer and we all need to like be aware of this so yeah the rapier it's one of my favorite by far like you do not underestimate keen keen speed and sundering repost uh i've seen some people put fleshy instead of sundering repose it's pretty good too and some people use the finisher too yeah i just think about that I i'm dumb in the past meta it was like i see the repose but now it changed since the finisher came out uh, when there's a bleeding target, you do 15% more DPS on a bleeding target. So, if you play with someone who have a spear and apply bleed, some people use spear and don't use bleed, so don't get caught with that. But if your teammate use bleeds, man, you're gonna do 50% more damage on everyone. And I used the rapier in OPR and solo OPR, and I was able to benefit from the bleed of everyone and. You know there's a lot of archer that have like um keenly jagged uh, they all the the class almost have a bleed and uh, people fo focus a lot by saying that the spear is like the one that have the most bleed but there's so much people using build without bleeds on the spear that it's almost stupid to say it seriously you're gonna hear it a lot spear bleed spear bleed yes you can make a very very good spear build, build the spear bleed build with the this weapon but there, there's the rapier too for the the, the bleed and uh, you can make a non bleed build on the spear it, it's hard to explain for me i'm french you know so uh, did i forget something let's speak about the two best weapon now the Fire staff and the ice gauntlet. I'm gonna start with the ice gauntlet because it's more like a support than a main, and then I'm gonna finish with the fire staff. That is the best weapon of the fire mage. All right. 
So the ice gauntlet, uh, it's a good a bit, a utility for fire staff ice gauntlet, IG void gauntlet, ice gauntlet void gauntlet, rapier ice gauntlet. Um, like the ice gauntlet is almost usable with uh, any other weapon in the game. The ice gauntlet is one of the best support weapon in the game. You're gonna see people with flail ice gauntlet, blunderbuss ice gauntlet. Um, like the ice gauntlet have a very wide variety, even spear ice gauntlet, and uh, you, you, you can see that in war. So the, the ice gauntlet is like one of the best support in game. The, the slow and the root are like just insane. And if someone have a bad PC, it's going to make him a lag. So it's like one of the big opportunity people in war just spam it on the point. So the people with bad PC cannot get near point and like... You see, it's one of the things that differentiates the good team than the bad team. Good team have better FPS, and like the FPS in the war is so hard to have good FPS on PC that, uh, yeah, I wonder <laughs> what it's gonna look like on console. I hope they, they fix that. Seriously. Damn. Yeah, they, they say that the optimization in bit is better. I, I upgraded my PC, so I was fine at the end, but I remember my PC when I only had like 16 gig of RAM. It was not doing it like I when I added the 32 gig of RAM, it's where I've seen improvement because the graphic card upgrade was like not enough. I needed some RAM with it just to help. So it seems like so yeah, this is the ice gauntlet. Uh, there's a couple different build to do with it, but the most common is ice storm, ice wall, and and tomb. Uh, and then the fire staff. The fire staff is like the best AOE DPS weapon in game with the ice gauntlet. If you put them both together, you just like can AOE and clump infinite. And uh, if you put very low constitution, you're gonna be top of the leaderboard almost every time. And uh, the fire staff, there's a they're probably gonna fix it. I think they fixed most most of the animation right now, but. You always add in the past or like you do a fire pillar you have to dodge you throw a fireball you have to dodge because it's like stuck into animation after it but they kind of rework it and now <clears throat> it's you're you're able to like throw a fire pillar and then throw a fireball back to back and it's really fluid and in the past it was not fluid but now the fire staff with the fluidity i feel like it's one of the strong weapon in there uh, if they make the tab target game it's gonna be a weird thing that you need to like tab on people and then uh because that it's not a um, the fire staff is not instant hit so you need to like lead your shot a bit so you're gonna have to like tap target lead and shoot so if that makes sense and that's gonna be weird because most of the attack are ev attacks so you're gonna hold tab target uh, move and shoot and you're gonna have to time it always almost the same time like because you know the the easy attack of uh, fire staff is always the same time, and if you tab on a target and then do the easy attack, maybe it's not gonna be it's gonna be too far. So you're gonna have to pre-load the easy attack while selecting your target and then move away from it. If that makes sense. So yeah, this video is far is enough long like that. So I wish everyone a good day. Thanks a lot for watching it and supporting this channel. Have a good day. Peace out. So Trout moves back. And I think the Disruptor gives up on him shortly after. He's got space. You're going to see right when I turn around. Cheat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> nice. For the rat. Dang. He just kind of ignores him. Oh, you have a hit or two? Shit. I'm trying to not line us sight. I'm a teal. He's not dead. We should probably get first. out of this. I don't see any team coming. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go out of there. Oh, crap. I mean, I, I kind of asserted that I thought that the a lot of the kill pressure came from the guys 
who were in the top 10 of the scoreboard who were doing together they did like 12 13 million damage amongst four of them with one or two deaths each and then this is what what we say about like uh we did kill each other the like the kill squad killed each other but we did not kill their backline enough like yeah so they had four players who were putting in a combined total of 12 million damage to the point to the quads and they were doing it for free because they died i think a total of this is five times amongst the four of them now i don't know if you guys addressed this because clearly point it was you know a happening uh, from, there's a cause to why the point is being so diffed so hard and the crashes are being dumped on so hard, right? There's there's a big there's a big reason. It's not just that those those pumper mages are dumping on the crash calls. That's not what's happening. That's not why they're putting in. Oh, Trout pulled damage. those. Trout pulled those guys to me. That motherfucker. Or not Trout, but bro. So in order to beat these opponents. Did this man actually just pull? No, I think. Motherfucker. Man. I just want you to do, do, to do <laughs> their fire mage on Emosket. Look at the Emosket, he's came <laughs> back. Yeah. So never, yeah, that's right. Uh, pulled them both to you. 2.6, 2.7. Uh, you know, like those are the guys. That, that was your only really... death too, right? Not... Yeah, that was my only death. That was the main thing. If I had clean pots still, I would have been able to cleanse some of that off. So I think those those mages really need to be addressed in the future, personally. And I think, I mean, that's an acute because I, you know, an effort that's obviously uh, with everybody involved. But um, the mages that they are using are not um, like being a plus one in the kill squad group they're being a plus one in the point groups because the accumulated damage that they put out is basically a, a decent enough sacrifice to, to minus a DGI or a bruiser or whatever they're minusing from the point groups i'm not really sure but you know there's four four of them that they are utilizing or three And I think the solution to, to, to beat them is to, well, number one, focus them, counter them, and make sure they're not putting in that damage got a free. single shot that whole time. What was he doing? But I also think in order to alleviate pressure from our bruisers, we need to have the same thing going in order to, uh, kind of to, to provide that support with the damage. In my opinion, I think having two really strong pumper mages is so if, if they was fighting a strong company, they, they, they would lose because they are doing that. That's exactly right, Dolbeck. That's exactly right, because the strong companies would be like, you know what, they know about these guys, they would focus these guys, they would never let them live with 100 con. They were probably but... even left them live and think it's gonna do nothing because the crash from the melee gonna be good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you have to remember, like, <clears throat> the pumper mages are only getting the kills because the crashes are set up so well by their, uh, like, point groups. And yeah, but yeah. they're putting in 12 million this damage, really which, is, which is basically, uh, they're putting in a, a crash on their, like, two mages. 500 and dumping on a point is basically a crash on its own. It's just, yeah, it's but that, we're, we're trying to say the crashes, we, we, our bruisers were getting crashed their crashes were better because of our bruises weren't disciplined enough. They were saying if you like if you They were getting blown Bart, the fuck up all the time. If you dude. yeah, if you watch Bar's um, point of view, they kept saying, Yeah, you need to we need to crash and get out. That's the problem, we weren't getting out. There was the, when you get the out, problem is it's so hard to in. stay Look in. Look at how many shoved out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. so hard yeah, for them to stay in to, because no, you're not supposed to stay in. That's the thing. You're not supposed to stay they in. They were able to stay in because out. they get had that. 12 million damage being pumped on the point the whole time. These mages were not focusing kill squad. They weren't. Yeah. They just put pylons down. Yeah. So that pressure is going 100% toward the point. And 
two pumper mages at 500 in, basically provide yeah, like two extra, time. three extra detonates every round, every round of, of between blowups. It's just that matter. strong. And if they're free casting, matter. that's a lot. That's a problem. It doesn't matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? It fucking it matters, matter. bro. They had no, one fucking matter. death average. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. What are you talking about? Doesn't matter. Doesn't you let him free cast. Doesn't matter. Doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Doesn't matter then. Right, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter then. Oh yeah, it doesn't know what matter. You're, you're right. It just doesn't matter what if they even live. Okay, how much you're pumping? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that it's useless. Useless stat patterns there. Just blowing up. I think that was the point where they, I was. They, someone said, "Pull the fight out here." When we got chased by like thirteen people. There they go. Wouldn't right have they would just would have turned the same way. Roaches. <laughs> Roaches. <laughs> GG on that fight, man. There what the is... fuck? The <laughs> dude was there. running for so long. Oh, I was. Yeah, 1v2 dead musket with a uh, fire mage, both together in the mines. <laughs> we're coming back. Here they come. Yeah, we're just a little too split. We gotta, um, we gotta play a little bit more condensed. Yeah, because Dai is just left out there. Not gonna lie. Oh, and Con, if you want to understand uh, how melee work and talk about melee fight, you need to play melee a bit. That doesn't matter, though, like. Oh, yeah, it changed everything. Like, it, no, no, it doesn't after matter, playing though, like. healer, it changed my worldview of the game. <laughs> no, my man, world game play matter, changed it. Like. It don't matter, though, like. Don't matter. Even if you said don't matter, like the reality is the reality. Ah, he's being sassy because you told me. Yeah, he's being sarcastic. Yeah, don't I'm kidding. Oh, being okay, a sass, sassy brassy. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, as a friend, I don't like, that. Just giving a real good response, you know. Because you weren't listening to anybody. That's that's why I was getting a, a, giving you a sarcastic response. You're not you listening. weren't what? I said I was Sorry. giving you a sarcastic response because you're not listening to what anybody's telling you. Kill which this is rat. Very Kill this rat, Don. I heard what you said. Oh, you heard they're crashing yeah. better, they're doing this, but that's incorrect. Three people told you that. What do you want us to tell you? So, like, yeah, you're wrong. before All this meta wrong. happened, and why, it's like, ego kind of... shit you at everybody, lot, right? you tell everybody ego, that they're wrong. Ego I, I didn't care about I mean, people's healers. They literally just blew up everyone from 100 to nothing. It's a matter of opinion. 